Hi, y'all. Sure you know by now that the Bucky's here in Madison County, Kentucky is open. And we went on opening day. I went with Ton and Heather from Exploration Unknown. We had a good time. It was a little overwhelming. There's a lot to deal with when it comes to Bucky's. It's been really fun seeing other people's YouTube videos about it and seeing everything from their perspective. I always like that kind of thing. Once I got home, I got to thinking about it and processing it all. I thought there were a few things I thought I wish I had known beforehand going in. There's some other things that caught me off guard. So I thought I'd come up with a few tips for any of you all that are coming down to visit the Bucky's for the first time because it is kind of a good idea to have a game plan going into this. So this Bucky's is located on Interstate 75 at exit 83. That's not quite halfway between Berea and Richmond. If you're exiting the interstate from northbound, you're going to turn right on Duncannon Lane, and then you'll take another right into Bucky's at the stoplight. If you're traveling southbound on 75 and you take the exit, you're going to turn left. And the same thing, you'll turn right at the first stoplight. Now, for those of you who are from areas where there aren't a lot of roundabouts, there are roundabouts leading into and out of Bucky's, so know that beforehand. My advice would be when you come to the first roundabout, take the first right exit out of it, and that's going to take you up to the side of the store that's closest to Duncan and Lane. There's a reason I suggest this. There's two entrances to the store. One is on like the narrow side of the store that faces Duncan and Lane, and the other is the door that faces the gas pumps and the interstate. The entrance at the gas pumps, that end is busier. There's a lot more going on down on that end. I would suggest parking on the opposite end which if you come in the way I told you to, it's gonna be the first store you're gonna see a parking lot to the left. It's the narrow side of the building. The reason I would suggest going in there first is it's quieter on that side of the store. This is the side of the store that has more of the clothes, the home decor, the kitchen stuff, the things you don't typically think of in a gas station. That's where that is. It's a little quieter and easier to maneuver before you walk into the overwhelming part over where all the food is. Now, as soon as you walk in the door, you are going to smell brisket. You can't avoid it unless I guess you've had COVID and you can't smell or something like that. But even then, I think you could probably smell it. It's a very strong smell, so be prepared for that. If you go in the entrance I'm suggesting and just keep walking straight, you're gonna go straight to where the brisket and the barbecue and all the prepared food is. It's kind of in the middle of the store, more towards the gas station end of things. Even if you don't eat any brisket while you're there, watch them chop it up. It's kind of fascinating. Anytime a new brisket comes out of the oven, they throw it on the chopping board. He hollers something, I don't know exactly what he hollered, and they holler back and then he goes to chopping. That was something interesting to watch because they, I mean, they chop it. Now I come to like my first, I don't know if you'd say disappointment or kind of a shock let down. Know before you go that there is nowhere to eat at Bucky's all this food and there are no tables inside or outside to sit down and eat at. From a customer perspective, that's just the weirdest thing on earth that you have all this food, fresh prepared food, and there's nowhere to sit down and eat it. From their standpoint, I do get it because they want people to grab things and go. You know, faster turnover means they're making more money. So it makes sense from their perspective, but really it seems like they would have somewhere to sit down and eat. And I bet a lot of people don't know that going into it. Now, one thing that surprised me, I guess in a good way, they have buggies. Or if you're not familiar with rural vernacular, a shopping cart. They have shopping carts. It was kind of surprising and it threw me off a little bit when I saw people pushing shopping carts around what's essentially a gas station, even though it's not really just a gas station. So if you do want to go in there and do some serious shopping, know that they do have shopping carts. The prices I saw were very reasonable. That caught me off guard a little bit because normally you go to a gas station, things are a little higher than what you would expect to spend or want to spend. And it really wasn't the case there. Now their prices aren't like Aldi or Save-A-Lot or anything like that, they're not that cheap. But they're not really what you would pay at most gas stations I've been in. So that was a pleasant surprise. So another thing to know before going in, there are employees all over the place in there. There were employees that were cleaning constantly. There were employees that were restocking things constantly or putting things back where they were supposed to be all the time. There's employees walking around just helping customers. There are employees in the bathrooms cleaning constantly. 
So if you get in there and there's something you're looking for in particular and you can't find it, don't be afraid to stop and ask somebody because they're all over the place. So the checkout lines move very quickly. Don't be afraid if there's a line that gets you through there. And that's because it was opening day and it was absolutely packed. So don't be afraid if you're gonna buy something you don't know because the line is long, go for it. The lines move very fast. And finally, if you're coming to visit Bucky's from a distance, if you're traveling for this, because I know there were people there from Indiana and all kinds of places while we were there, spend a little time in Richmond and Berea while you're here. I mean, you're not gonna spend all day at Bucky's. Berea is full of arts and crafts shops in Old Town and on College Square. The college campus is like no other. It's beautiful. You can take a walking tour of campus and they'll tell you the history. Just the history of the town's really cool. North of Richmond, there's Fort Boonesboro State Park and then across the interstate from it is the Whitehall Mansion. And if you're into history, I highly, highly recommend going to Whitehall for a tour. I'll leave you some links to these things down in the description in case you're interested. So that's all of my tips for you if this is your first time coming down to the Bucky's in Richmond. I hope they help. I hope they were informative. Like I said, a few of these things I wish I had known going into it that would have helped a little bit. But and if you know of some Bucky's tips that I'm not aware of, because I'm new to Bucky's, that was my first time, let me know in the comments. Until next time, you all know I appreciate the daylights out of you watching. Like and subscribe if you want to, and I will talk to you later.